Hey everybody, Robert here with more Ready Training. We're looking at families and as we just created this first family uh, basic box and we added material and we got one formula in there. So now before we move on, we know the hard basics of creating a family which was the, the reference planes and the views and there's our front view. We set our planes and then we got here our family types and we can duplicate these into types uh, actually if we want but these are going to be this way for now we can always go edit and change them here we can oh well we can go here and edit these guys if we want like we can make these type or instance parameters but for now I'm going to break away from this and I want to just show you the basics of families I mean, th these are the basics. These are the forms that we use. And I'm going to just drag this down here and explain this to you. Okay, now with these forms here, this is what we just used. We used an extrusion, which is probably the most simple uh, form to make. And then we have our blends, revolve. And if you hold that, that little video will show you kind of what's happening there, even with the blend. Uh, it's pretty neat to show that basically you have two different uh, levels and then you got a sh two different shapes and they'll blend together like so okay so now um, what we want to do is we want to go in and let's go and create a blend okay I'm going to see if I can do this out here now I'm going to just create a new family here I'm just going to go file I'm going to go new new family and we'll go over to our hmm. I don't know why they did this this way English Imperial we're gonna go generic and go open here now what will happen is when you go into the blend command you got this up here and it says top so you're defaulting to the top view at the moment, I think. No, we're on a reference level. So we change this, then we'll go to our top. So it says the sketch is empty. We're gonna just cancel that. Now let's go try this again. So we wanna go and do a blend. So I'm gonna go blend here. And I'm gonna create a shape. Maybe just like in the example, we'll just create this shape here. Now we can get these parameters as well, like we did before. Um, then we'll say, we'll edit the top, we'll select it, and we'll just do a circle here for the top. And then we'll finish it. So there's our blend. So that's how you make the blend. Um, you can edit the base and the top. Let's see what this looks like in 3D. Okay, so you can edit that if you want. Now, what I should have done, I should have gave this parameters. So let's go look into our front view, see what's happening here. So we don't have a reference plane here. So I might want to go in here and decide I want to create a reference plane. But this is just for uh, demonstration sake. So I'm going to drive that there. So I just pull this one out like so. Create another reference plane. Create another parameter here. And we're going to lock that to that. Okay, it's already locked. And then let's make this uh, depth or height. You have to select it. And we'll go here. And we'll call this height. Okay, and let's make this three for my family type, see if this works. Let's make it three. Uh-oh, don't know if this is gonna work. It should, well, I don't know, it should work. Uh, let me try this again. So, this probably won't work because, oh, we gotta lock it, of course. And let's see if it'll work now. Let's go here and let's make this two. Oh, 
Okay, so now it works. We didn't lock it. So that's how you create a blend. Straightforward and simple. So what you need to know is all of these, learn all of these forms, which are basically, you know, uh, now let's go look at the revolve. So um, I'm just going to go here. I'm going to just create a new one here. Just to show the form. So let's go file new. New family. We'll go with the, uh, wow. I don't know, maybe this is just my version of 2023. Have to do this every time to find my uh, generic family model. This is just simple generic, but no, no but then with a, uh, a revolve, you can do things like a profile. So what I'm gonna do for the revolve, I'm gonna use a profile uh, if I can find one. Boy, this is, let's see, profile in there. Okay, here's a profile. I'm gonna open that up. And I'm gonna go into a front view. <laughs> okay. So now what's happening here is, this is a profile and it's only a 2D shape. So we don't really need that. So I'm gonna knock that down. We don't wanna use that one. So I'm gonna go open a new one. Let me see if I can tile these. UTGA. Okay, good. I got all my family still here. We've got our blend. So now let's go and do a revolve. So as you look here, you just pull this down and revolve needs to have an axis. <laughs> Okay, so basically what's going to happen is, let me just do a new one. Jeez. A new generic one. Generic model, open. Okay, where is it? There it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close in active views. Uh, well, I don't have any. I'm gonna just see if I can expand this view here. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll just shit cascade these, I guess. Tau views. Okay, having a brain fire here, guys. Uh, I want this view, I want this view big. So we can do our revolve here. Uh, view, can I do a cascade here? Hmm. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just take this guy and bring it all the way over here. views okay don't let me tile but I want tab them okay that's what I want to do tab them so here now we make our revolve so to make the revolve let's go into the uh, a front view so as soon as you click on the revolve it's going to ask you for an axis and the boundary line. So if I remember correctly, I want to do my axis first here. No, I'm going to do the boundary. It's asking me for the boundary first. So let's go and just do something like that. That. This. Now you can do these with parameters and they could be smart and everything. But we're just doing this for example. I thought I had done a video, a series of videos on this and obviously I didn't. So here, I think this has got to be closed. I'm gonna just close it up. And then, okay, you need an axis, so I'm gonna continue. 
So now we need my axis, and I'm going to just select this line right here and up to there. And then I'll finish. And so there's our revolve. Okay, so now moving on. Uh, next we have the sweep. So now the sweep acts a little differently here. Um, we want to sketch a path, say. I don't know if I can do it here. I'm going to try. And then here, you can go in right here and we can uh, load a profile or we can edit a profile or we can go by sketch. So I'm going by sketch here. I think I can do this. So I'm just going to click here. Nope. I'm going to click. Uh-oh. My bad. So I got to select this, this plane here. Go back to sketch path, and then here I want to draw some sort of okay, that's wrong. I'm gonna set this plane here. I don't, I tell you what, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna back out of this for now and do the sweep later. Uh, let's cancel that. Let's cancel that. Yes, I think that might want to be a separate family, but anyway, guys, I wanted to go through these forms with you. We've done uh, the extrusion, the blend, the revolve, we have the sweep and the sweep blend. Uh, and I want to go over these in another video because uh, the voids, now if you look at voids, it's really five of these forms, well you see six, they really call them out as five, but actually it's ten because you have a void extrusion, a void blend, and a void revolve. So you have void forms for each of these uh, shapes. So hey guys, uh, I'm going to leave it right there. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, make videos like this all the time. Uh, so we went over. Uh, we created a revolve, a blend. Next, we'll do our sweep, our sweep blend, and our void form. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. Everybody be safe, and please subscribe. Bye.